Welcome everybody to Dice Station Zebra. My name is Rob and joining me as always is Jocelyn. Hi Jocelyn. Hi Rob, how's it going? Uh, pretty good. And how are you doing? I'm I'm excited. Yeah. Because we're doing something a little different. <laughs> doing something a little different. Um, I backed a Kickstarter a while back from uh, Goodman Games who make Dungeon Crawl Classics. And this is a new set called uh, Dying Earth. And Dungeon Crawl Classics is a role-playing game. Yes, a fantasy role-playing game. And this one is based on the literary works of Jack Vance. Okay. Um, now, here's the nice box that came. Yep. And uh, it's a big box. It's got a few dings in it. I'm hoping that everything is intact inside. So, shall we cut this open and have a look? Let's do it. I oh. don't even really remember. Like, I, I know generally what's in here, but um, there are some, might be some extras in here that I did not uh, remember, or remember. Yeah. Yeah. It's entirely possible. And as you can see, there's the nice Goodman Games label on the top of the box. And you're very and carefully cutting away from yourself. That is true. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, knife there for you to take care of. Yes. And I'm going to move this off to the side so that we can start uh, unpacking. Let's do it. So, um, okay, we have a packing label, which... Looks it's bubble wrap. We got some uh, bubble wrap. Actually, you know what? I will cut back to here so that people can see. Okay, here we go. This is the main box here. Ooh. If you want to switch over to the uh, close-up cam, let's take a look at that. So this is the Dying Earth. It's the Kickstarter Stretch Goals Collection. Okay. Look at, I don't know if you can see this yeah. on camera, but it's really like, um, what's the word, like metallic-y? Yeah, it's foiling. Foiled. Yeah, it's a new... You can kind of see it there. There, I got a good angle on it there. Dying Earth is upside down. a new process. Let me try this again. Look Look at that. Doing. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. Do we want to open this up, Rob? And it's kind of purpley, isn't it? It is. Yeah, we should open it up. Right. So uh, I was going to say, why don't you pass me the knife? However, I have the knife right here. So... Let me uh, sort this out. There it is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, do we need the knife? Oh, I think I just got, got it with it? my nail here. Okay. So, let's take a look at this. Um, so, anyway, so Jack Vance wrote a series of books that take place in the setting called The Dying Earth, if people aren't familiar. And um, what it is is that we have a world that is... Um, uh, has I think at some point had a post-apocalyptic event, mm -hmm. like a, a world-ending event almost, and so the people of this world have passed the technological age. They've gone back into a like an age of magic, right? And it's very uh, securely packed. And it's at the end <laughs> of the uh, this. I guess the the sun is big and bloated. You pull it up. It's a it's big and red, there. and. Uh, and that's what it's meant by Dying Earth. So we've got here the casebook of Arcane... Ap Ap I can't pronounce Apocrypha, it. Apocrypha, okay. I believe. More of that beautiful foiling. Yeah. Everything so let's is um, very uh, carefully put in here. Let's uh, let's dump the, the contents and take a look. Here we go. And while you're doing that, I'm just going to take this back over here. And it says here that inside this box you will find the casebook, as we just discussed... There's going to be a judge's screen uh -huh. specific to the DC Dying Earth setting. There's going to be a pad of Dying Earth character sheets. Uh -huh. Two spell labyrinths of starting spells for magicians and vat things. Right. So a vat thing, I believe, is a creation. Mm -hmm. It's an organi organic being that gets created Cool. from magic and sort of so there's, chemical processes. So there's the judge's screen. Yep, there we go. I figured that would be cardboard, but it's actually a little bit thinner. Well, it's a thick cardstock. These are the typical, uh, I think, um, material that j judges' yeah. screens are made of. But there is a DCC or uh, DCC thick cardstock yes. edition, which which is more like I cardboard. Um, then we also have an exclusive issue of the Goodman Games Gazette and a Dying Earth Art Folio. Look at all these character sheets. All blank and ready to go. It's on a pad. Nice. That's a lot of character sheets. A lot of characters to make. Yeah. <laughs> and these are the okay. spells. The starting Libram, spell yep. Libram. 
Libram, however it's pronounced. Okay, interesting. And that's the Gazette. Okay. Would you like me to read the blurb on the back the here? Art folio. While you're Go looking for at it. the art? Sure, let's take a look at the art while you're reading that. Welcome to the DCC Dying Earth Kickstarter Stretch Goal Box Set. This box set is dedicated to our DCC Dying Earth backers who made the overwhelming success of our Kickstarter campaign possible. With these contents, your players can acquire baffling talismans and other items mystical, delve into the manses of famed arch archmages, and encounter notable personages from the Dying Earth stories themselves, including Rialto the Marvelous, Gael of Saphir, and even the to notorious Kujul the Clever. This box set contains all the stretch goals that were unlocked as part of the Kickstarter. Within you will find over 100 pages of new material to expand on the DCC Dying Earth setting, including new spells, patrons, location guides, and magical instruments, both minor and major, along with providing the judge with an assortment of tools to supplement their DCC Dying Earth campaign, including a judge's screen, character sheets, starting spell, librams, and an exclusive Kickstarter art. Thank you to all the backers that made this expanded content possible. All right, fantastic. And it has a um, suggested retail price on the back of fifty nine ninety nine U.S. dollars. There you go. <laughs> but okay. you got it as part of the Kickstarter. I did. So that is the main uh, box that we've got here. Yep. And let's take a look at what's next in the package. We're going to put this back in here nice and safe. Thank you. And... and I think I got a couple, yeah, I got a couple adventures here, which we'll show. So this is... The um, House on the yeah. Island. It is a Dying Earth Adventure number eight, a level three adventure. Yep, by Errol Otis, the the uh, legendary artist, Errol Otis, who also, I believe, did the art on Beautiful. the Beautiful. It is very cool. I like the green. It looks kind of yeah, poisonous. It does. Here we've All got right. Phantoms of the Ectoplasmic Cotillion. Got it. And it's Dying Earth number seven, a level three adventure by Bob Brinkman. There we go. And finally, we have the Great Visp Hump. Pump. Hunt. hunt. <laughs> the Great Visp Hunt. <laughs> DCC Dying Earth number six, a level two adventure by Julian Burnick. Nice. I like the uh, purple monster here. Yeah. It's like a purple people eater. <laughs> it's but he's not one eyed. I would imagine. Yeah, that's true. I would imagine it is a. Uh, he does attempt to eat yeah. some people. What else have we got? We'll see. Okay, now this was extra. I ordered this extra. I bought myself another copy of the core rulebook. And this is just the DCC core rulebook. Yep, and this is a hardcover edition, and this has the San Julian cover, which yeah. is the name of the artist. It says Gold and Glory won by Sorcerer and Sword. Yep. Sorcery and Sword. And it's very pretty. Um, yeah, so I just wanted an extra copy of the rule book to have around since it, since it is such a Look, gorgeous like cover. Look, it's like a 70s, 70s know, warrior right? there with his, with his bell bottoms. With his cool pants. Looks like he belongs at the circus. Yep. Okay, so we have that, and there's also some other kind of uh, box in here. Okay. So well I'm going to take that box out. All right, and let's do a big switcheroo here. Yeah. Now we have this box here. As you can see with the Dying Earth titling on it. Yep. And let's see what's inside. Yep. And I think we open on this end, possibly. Looks like you got to pull it up there. There we go. Okay. Let's take these out. And we have... That's another box thing that we need to open. Yeah, another box. This is the Dying Earth Adventures in a Doomed Kay. World. So this is the, I believe, the main set of adventure modules. Okay. The mm. ones that I happen uh, happened before six, seven, and eight, I presume. I think so. Oh, and oh, we're gonna find out. So here's another pack of adventure modules. Nice. So why don't we open these? Okay. I'm going to pass you the knife in case you need it, but apparently you don't. I'm good so far. Okay. I will put the knife down. Okay. So, again, we have some foiling on this. Look at the amazing art on this. It's beautiful. Love the colors. 
This is the Pilgrims of the Black Obelisk. It is Dying Earth Adventure number zero, a level zero adventure venture by Julian Burnick and Mark Bruner. Mm -hmm. And that is a funnel adventure, I guess, if it's a level zero. Uh, I believe it is. Yeah, good call. Look at this. Um, okay. The Laughing Idol of Larshan. Yep. Dying Earth number one, a level one adventure by Julian Burnick. Julian wrote a lot of these. Yep. And that's an I believe that's another Errol Otis cover it, on uh, that. He looks like kind of like a gingerbread person. Yeah. In some ways. Freaky looking. Here we have the Sorcerer's Tower of Sanguine Slant. Sanguine Slant, yeah. DCE, DCC role-playing number two, a level two adventure by Terry Olson. Mm -hmm. No relation to Mary-Kate and Ashley <laughs> um, that we know of. Uh, here we, we go it. to the Magnetic M oh no! Machinate. Try again. Machinations. Mag. Magnificent. No. Magnific. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Machinations. At the, the grand. grand Exposition of Marvels, that's which a, is that's a mouthful. That is, Dying Earth number three, a level three adventure by Bob Brinkman. There we go. Oh, this is the same art as on that book, Rob. Mm -hmm. The Mind Weft of the Moonstone Palace number four, a level four adventure by Mark Bruner. Okay. And then we have... Good luck. Penumbra <laughs> of the Polar Ape. Yep. Number five. Sounds right to me. A level five adventure by Harry Stro Harley Stroh. Yep. Okay, now we get something else in here. What is this, posters? Those look like posters. Okay, we got some posters. You can put them up at your uh, local, local store. There you go. That's cool looking. Or, you know, have them framed and put them in your, your house. Yeah. You could. Got some cool posters here with the Dying Earth setting. Yeah, really cool looking. And one more. And then I, oh, I think we got some tokens. Tokens. Okay. There we go. Some more art. And here we go. Grudge tokens. So what are grudge tokens? Do we know? Um... So I think if we, I, I know a little bit about it. I think if we, um, it's like if you have fleeting luck tokens, but okay. these are different. You they can, sound, you they sound negative. Token. Yeah, they do sound negative, don't they? Yeah. I don't remember how they work exactly. It's I okay. I do remember them talking about it. We will so find out. We're going to find out. So shall we open this one? Let's do it. Let's okay. flip it over. Flip it open. We'll give it a, a tear on the plastic. Everything's wrapped in plastic. Yep. Okay. Plastic's coming off. And this is probably going to be just as tightly packed as that previous box. Mm -hmm. So let's see if you're better at opening it than I am. Here we go. Apparently you are. Pop. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> My code. And uh, okay, what do we got here? Let's open up everything. Yep. And while you are doing Take that, I will. Read the blurb. Okay. Adventures in a doomed world. Explore the singular world of Jack Vance's dying earth, set in the distant last days of the world where magic and science blend together and querulous sor sorcerers feud endlessly. With Dungeon Crawl Classics Dying Earth, you will discover the tools to play in Kujal's and Rialto's world, seek the mighty Pandalum, mm -hmm. or fall to an indifferent Guru while searching for sin scintillant baubles among the ensorcelled remains of the ancient earth. I don't use these words very often, no. Rob. They're this, very good words. This box set contains comprehensive rules options and new material for the DCC RPG explicitly designed to capture the setting of Dying Earth. With Within you will find new classes, creatures, patrons, spells, and more inspired by the Dying Earth stories for you to use in your DCC RPG game, including four new classes, Magician, Vat Thing, Wayfarer, and Witch, as well as new rules for grudge tokens to track the resentments that characters accumulate with every minor imprecation they encounter. This also includes a beautiful map of the Dying Earth illustrated by Doug Kovacs. A copy of the Dungeon Call Crawl Classics rulebook is required to use this set. And I believe this is the map. Maybe we will... Put that on the overhead after. We'll put that on after. Yeah. And of course, this is the player's Librum. Mm-hmm. And the primer of practical magic. Primer or primer? Yeah. Oh, tomato, tomato. Whoa. You want to try that one? Uh, the intimate anatomy of several creatures and personages of the 21st Aeon. Yep. There we go. Or Eon. Yep. 
Okay, well that's all the books in that. And is there wow. anything else in the in the box there, Rob? Let me verify. So while you're doing that, I will put these back in here. I think here. we emptied the box. It's just all a right. lot of bubbly wrap. I really appreciate the amount of bubbly wrap that it came in because uh, this box looks like it had been kicked around a bit in transit. So would you like to flip us perhaps over to the overhead? Let's do it. And let's open up this map. What do you say? There we go. All right. I'm just very carefully doing this because I don't want to damage your beautiful new piece of work here. That is a cool and map. And there is... Can't get quite all of it on the screen here. Yeah, it's okay. We got most of it. We got most of it. So we've got Dying Earth. You've got the Great Erm over here and the Great Da. Yeah. The Melantine Gulf. Look, there's like a sea monster over here. This is beautiful. That is a really nice map. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready to have some fantasy adventures in the Dying Earth, Jocelyn? I am. Cool. I cannot wait. We're going to have to make some characters. And Maybe get we'll a, get a campaign going. Have to do some streams of character roll up and talking about some of the new classes. Yeah. So So this is gonna be great. Um looking forward to playing this game. And uh just trying to get the glare off. Looking forward to to running you through the adventure as well. Can't wait. Looking yeah. forward to it. Well that is it then. That is the unboxing. That's everything that came in my box. Um now I know I think there was different uh things you could add on. Okay. Of course, I only added on the, um, the the book. Right, and the well, you got all the stretch goals. Um, I got the stretch goals. Yeah. Yep. And, and he's just double checking the box to make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah, I think that was it. Sounds like that was it. So yeah, so that's uh, Dying Earth, and we've got some good role playing in our future. We do. And we appreciate you, Judge Rob. And I appreciate my players. There you go. <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing. So uh, that was the unboxing. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. And you can reach out to us in all of our usual places. We have email, Facebook, um, disc you can come join our Discord. We have um, Twitter, Instagram. Jocelyn has an Etsy shop where if you are a role player and you want a beautiful bag to put your dice in, you can go get one from Jocelyn's shop. Custom made to order. Yep. And we also, we're over on Twitch where once in a while we do some games. And let us know if you backed the Dying Earth Kickstarter. And let us know what kind of cool add-ons that you got. And uh, that's all we have for today. So thanks for watching, everybody. And we will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.